Hey everyone. So I, I just finished watching Sonic the Hedgehog and I wanted to keep this a, a little bit of a brief a brief video because I'm going to take a bath here in a, in a little sec to relax. Uh, I haven't had my my Dr. Teal um, relaxing bath liquid in, in some time and it's the only second time I've got it. I have the Himalayan salt the last time, the first time I got lavender but um it, I don't know Com like it kind of it kind of played a little bit differently than Detective Pikachu um what I can say with with Sonic the Hedgehog is a word to describe it um, um, from someone who hasn't seen it is it was it was sweet it was a sweet movie um, just had sweet moments in it that had a kind of uh, a charm to Sonic the Hedgehog but it was it was okay there was there was a few points where it was it wasn't like belching laugh out loud funny but yeah, it was it was it was not bad movie. Um, there was definitely locations in the movie that were very familiar because it was filmed on Vancouver Island, where I'm where I'm from. So most of it was filmed here. I was like, well, I know that highway, I know these woods, I know that field, <laughs> kind of. Which is kind of it's like cool when a movie like that is. Is being filmed so close to home, and then, and then there, I mean, there's some funny things like uh, James Marsden's character in it. Uh, he says he asks Jim Carrey, just like uh, you just came out of the the the, the Comic Con, or you just oh you swing by the the Comic Con convention. It's like ha ha, it's a it's a sky suit or whatever, so, and I'm like, oh, so that's how they're doing it. They're, they're when you watch it, there's clearly something at the very end. There's a couple of end credit scenes that you gotta watch, and most movies now they have those end credit scenes where you watch them. One is Jim Carrey just after the movie, and. He's in like some mushroom land. I, I thought they were like poking fun at another thing that has mushrooms. Do I think he has mushrooms? No, he has pipes and stuff. That's that's Mario in Luigi's world. Now they need to make a movie of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Definitely Spy Spyro. I don't know how you'd be able to do a Crash Bandicoot without something like... Because Crash doesn't really really talk, really. Um, he just goes, whoa, I think. Well, did, did Sonic talk even in the first game? I don't think so. All right, I'm just going through allergies. No, I don't have the, you know what? People wearing, like, if you sneeze or you go through allergy season, people think you're getting the corona. Well, everyone's going to get the rona. It's just a matter of time. But again, it's not a death sentence. But the movie was sweet. I mean, it had some chuckle moments in there. Um, you know, the standard road trip. I mean, it was, it was very family, family orientated, very family focused, I'd say. Um, I don't know. I like Sonic as a character more. Um, but I did end up buying Detective Pikachu before I saw the movie on Blu-ray, and it was it was actually it was actually uh, an all right, pretty, pretty, well put together film. I'm not a fan of Pokemon or know much about Pokemon. But I know Pikachu. I saw the animated po Pokemon movie like 20 years ago when I was a little kid. I was like five or so. I was so young, but I remember seeing stuff like that in the Thomas the Train movie it's I just remember pieces of that. I don't remember much about the Thomas the Train movie I was so young it came out like 20 years ago 
Just about. Yeah, I want to kind of keep this short and sweet too because yeah, there's not much to say. It was a sweet mo it was a sweet f movie or film, I guess you could say. The difference between film and movie, I'm not sure. Um, Jim Carrey it's kind of a zany self Jim Carrey. You kind of would kind of compare him to being the being the Riddler in this, but the Riddler was a little bit a little bit too much more over the top. He's kind of simmered it down. Um, and I guess there's some elements that he's like, oh, he's trying to get at you, but you know, it's a, it, it's a family made movie, so it's not going to be that serious. And Detective Pikachu uh, was more of like a mystery detective thing, but it's like under your nose, uh, Pikachu was actually Ryan Reynolds all along. He was the guy. He was the the kid's father, but he just didn't know. It was kind. Of, it was weird. It was a weird thing. So this is you kind of. It's more of a simpler story, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and it starts off with. Sonic basically being the main character narrating and stuff um, I didn't really play the games a lot as, as a kid very very like when I was like a toddler I must have played I remember playing some really old I think my dad had a Sega as a, as a kid I know he had a, I know he had a Sega and um, yeah it was just it was a sweet movie. Um, nothing like amazing. Um, some of the CGI was sort of like, uh, you know, they could have worked on that a little bit more. But what, what can you do, right? Um, do you need alcohol required to watch this movie? Um, not necessarily. I mean, you have a talking. Uh, alien that's in like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog form or whatever. No. I mean, if, you, if you're a fan of the if you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, then yeah, watch the movie. But it was they were right when they were talking about that it's kind of made for fans, like hardcore fans of Sonic, and it's also made for kids, and that it really divides the audience because it's. It was, I think this is more aimed at kids than. Than Detective Pikachu. Um, I think yeah, Detective Pikachu was rated PG. Or was it rated PG thirteen? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and get the box. The thing here. Detective Pikachu is Pika Pika Pika. Um, I've seen this a couple times. Um, yeah, it's rated PG, and I'm sure Sonic is rated PG too. This this movie came with a a Pikachu card. I've not opened it yet. I don't know where I put it. Special edition Pokemon Pikachu. Um, Warner Brothers made. Um, Detective Pikachu, and let's see who made Sonic the Hedgehog. What company made Sonic Hedgehog movie? Um, it's directed by Jeff Fowler. Uh, I wonder who else made it. So, um, oh, it's released by Walt Disney Pictures. That's why it's so much more family friendly. But, you know, Warner Brothers makes some really good movies. Detective Pikachu, Batman movies, Joker, Harry Potter. Um, Disney, Disney, it's sort of like a, a mixed thing with me. It's a mixed bag because, uh, 
They just want a monopoly, a monopoly everything and get everything. They just make a monopoly movie. Surprised they don't. It's yeah. The movie the movie was produced by Sega Animation and released by Walt Disney Pictures. But I think Paramount had something to do with it too because there's a thing. I wish they could just say Sega. Um. It was just kind of your traditional video game story or your hero journey story. And you, I've seen these types of movies before in different forms. Uh, the Shakespearean story told over and over and over. Or the uh, those little books that go over about the, the hero's journey. Oh, uh, uh, it wasn't terrible. It was not terrible. I think it was. It was not too bad. Maybe maybe have a little bit of a buzz, but it's it was not too bad. And I want to keep this kind of short and sweet, so I'm not going to go over my 15 minutes, even though I can make videos as long as I want. Um, but I'm going to go have a bath now. And yeah. Tell me, let me guys know what you think of uh, if you saw Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, other than that, it was alright. Uh, other the guy who did the voice of Sonic uh, fit the character very well. Um, again, very kid uh, orientated or kid or kid friendly, to say the least. Um, other than that was a was a decent was a decent uh, decent movie. P Detective Pikachu had a some heart in it, and I guess this did too, but less so for me. I just thought it was just sweet, like having a cupcake sweet. It was sweet. So that's all I have to say. And uh, let me guys know what you think. I probably won't hear anything that soon because there's a bunch of people who. Who follow me or subscribe to me and I only hear stuff from people who say you want to be friends and they're not actually real accounts and I've been doing this for a long time but anyways let me guys know what you guys think of Sonic the Hedgehog and yeah what do you think of Sonic the Hedgehog do you have a favorite video game mascot character I, I, I play a lot of Spyro. I really like Spyro. I'm not sure between Spyro and, 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 and Crash. Crash brings back a lot of memories. And um, maybe Crash brings back a little bit more memories. Because I played that quite a bit before Spyro. And Spyro I played quite a bit. Probably a little bit more than, than uh, Crash. And then, oh yeah, I, I love... Actually, even more than that, I I I I would really like them to do a Ratchet and Clank movie. That's good. I've not seen the Ratchet and Clank movie that came out years ago. That was just made of of just video game clips, I guess. That what what's what it was, but they they should be on top of that. Do like a Spyro movie, Legend of Zelda. Even would be awesome. There's so much they can do with that, and it, they've had Legend of Zelda for. 20 30 years so they they have a lot they have lots to do with with legend of zelda and i that's a lot of memories right there too i played a lot of legend of zelda not a lot because i've not played wind walker or windbreak or whatever that's called and i've had this little zelda game called spirit tracks when you used to have a dsi and then i had a 3ds uh, that i bought um off this girl brand new 25 bucks not the ds the DS I sold to someone, but I I bought it used off someone on Am not Amazon eBay, and then I got the game brand new in packaging. I guess she didn't use it. Twenty five bucks. That was the only game I had for my DS, my 3DS. And I'm so surprised. I'm like, ah, oh, I sold it. Uh, it was just it was hard for me to play like actually playing Zelda now and trying to go through it. Like when I was a kid, I just. I just messed around with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Those are the ones I played. 
quite a bit. Those are the you know the popular ones. Uh, Majora's Mask was like uh, the game would just end because you got to beat it in three days time in the game. But Ocarina of Time is like my, one of my faves. So they have. I'm surprised they can't do a, a a movie like that. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like well Link doesn't talk and they'll get mad. Well Sonic never talked as far as I know. But yeah, Ratchet and Clank movie would just be good. I know sometimes video game movies don't work out right, so. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of the Sonic movie and what you'd like to see for video game movies and who your favorite video game character is. Um, it's hard to say. I like Crash, I like Spyro, I like Ratchet and Clank. Those are my, those are my three trios. Uh, and Sonic's not too bad too, but I hadn't really, I hadn't really played Sonic or been been into Sonic since I was a kid. So, but I do like him. Anyways, guys, 